Making meals while traveling is not only a great way to eat healthy, but also a great way to save money while you're out on the road or camping out. In this video, we're gonna talk about some ways to make RV cooking easier, as well as give you some quick and easy meal ideas for meals on the road. First of all, let's talk about what type of cooking options are available in most of the RVs that you find today. Usually you'll have some sort of stove top. This might be an electrical induction cooktop or it could be runoff of propane. Now we will have some very important safety tips for propane cooking a little bit later in this video. So especially if you have a propane stove top, you're going to want to make sure to stay to the end and maybe even take a few notes. Another cooking appliance most RVs come equipped with is a microwave and many RVs actually have a combination microwave convection oven. And lastly, some RVs have a propane oven as well. Now in our RV, we actually remove the propane stove and installed an induction cooktop that's run off of electricity. And let's not forget, there's always meal options that you don't have to cook at all. And we're gonna talk about some ideas for no cook meals in this video as well. I know you're gonna find those helpful. Now there are a few cooking tools you might want to consider for RV cooking, like an air fryer, which is really just a smaller version of a convection oven, and then also an instant pot. Now we use both of these appliances in our RV to cook meals, especially on travel days. It makes it very, very easy. Let's talk about some meal ideas and ways to use an Instant Pot in an RV. Having an Instant Pot is a convenient way to cook in a smaller space because one appliance can take the place of several pots or pans. One thing to remember is an Instant Pot can and actually will use quite a bit of power. So this means you do need to be aware of what other appliances might be running at the same time that you're using your Instant Pot in the RV. Now, most RVs have two legs, if you will, for electrical circuits. One is going to be running down the left side and one is going to be running down the right side of the RV. So plugging in the Instant Pot on a different side of the RV, if you're already using a high powered use appliance on the other side can be helpful. For example, in our motorhome, I'll plug our Instant Pot in on the opposite side of the RV from where our microwave is located if I'm going to use both of those appliances at the same time. The same principle goes for an air fryer as well. Plug them in on different sides of the RV. Some great meal options in an Instant Pot are homemade mac and cheese, chicken and rice, and even spaghetti. I'm going to have recipes for these meals with detailed instructions in the description of this video, so you'll wanna check those out down there. Some great ways to use your Instant Pot for cooking in your RV can include for cooking things like rice, makes it very simple. Cooking hard boiled eggs, that's one of our family's favorites. And using the saute mode of the Instant Pot to actually brown ground beef or chicken, searing meats. Basically, you can use this feature on an Instant Pot the same way that you would use a fry pan on the stove top. And then of course, there's slow cooking. We cooked a ham for Thanksgiving in our Instant Pot and it turned out wonderful. So much so, I actually really wanna do it again. Now let's talk about tips for using your microwave convection oven. As many RVs do come equipped with these. One thing you wanna do is check food frequently, especially towards the end of cooking, and don't overcrowd the convection oven. These ovens use a lot of hot air to circulate around the food, so they need that room for circulation. Using a flat dish like a cookie sheet or a shallow pan also can be helpful. And the temperature might actually have to be adjusted a little bit higher, depending upon the dish that you're cooking. One of my favorite cooking appliances in our RV is our air fryer. Now, a few great ways to use an air fryer in an RV can include heating up leftovers like pizza or french fries. It keeps them nice and crisp. Cooking meats like chicken or salmon or even air frying sliced potatoes are one of our family's favorite. Just cut up some small potatoes into slices, toss with olive oil, salt, pepper, pop them into the air fryer. It tastes really great. Now let's talk about some RV cooking safety tips. This is super important. RVs are more flammable than a sticks and bricks house. So some extra precautions when dealing with an open flame or a heat source are a really good idea. You wanna open a window or a roof vent when using your propane stove. And I actually still open a window and use the fan even when just using our induction top or our convection oven as well. Now you never wanna store flammable items or paper goods near a propane stove where there's an open flame. Keep paper towels, paper plates, things like that, napkins away from your cooking area and never leave a cooking appliance unattended 
when it's in use. Now, don't discount no cook meals like charcuterie boards or sandwiches and salads. These are all RV and camping friendly and require no cooking at all. Another great option when RVing is to cook outside. If you have an RV equipped with an outdoor kitchen, give it a try. You can also use items like a Blackstone griddle, which is a popular choice among RVers for cooking outside. If you have an RV that uses propane, you can easily install a rubber hose line from your onboard propane to use for your portable grill or Blackstone and ditch the one-time use propane canisters. Cooking outside is actually a great way to enjoy the outdoors while making a great meal all at the same time. Don't forget to check the description below for those instant pot recipes and for more RV meal ideas. Until next time, happy camping and healthy eating.